Hello everyone, this is Brandon John at Engineer Essentials. Today I wanted to cover a topic uh, about circularity. The topic is the tolerance zone and really this is going to be more of a clarification type video. We have several videos out there on circularity but the tolerance zone itself, we get a lot of questions about this on what it actually looks like and I want to show you something that I think we all kind of take for granted. So let's take a look at that. What you see on the screen here is our GD&T symbols wall chart, often referred to as the cheat sheet. So up in the top section of this, the green section, this is all of our form control. Circularity is located up here. So makes great for a quick reference. Uh, it does show for circularity what the tolerance zone looks like here, and it is two concentric circles. Um, right below here, circularity, how, uh, what it is is how much does the form of a part adhere to a perfectly circular shape. Um, remember, it's two-dimensional, so on this one, you're checking how circular a cylinder or sphere is for a given 2D cross-section. Down at the bottom, and again, th these are just uh, real quick references to make sure everybody remembers this stuff. Per ASME, these symbols that I have shown are always at RFS. That's good to know because um, it means that we don't have any MMC modifier or LMC modifier involved with this. So it keeps our numbers a little bit uh, easier to, to understand. So if you haven't uh, downloaded this, at the end of this, I'm going to show the link there for uh, downloading the free wall chart. Circularity. So diameter versus circularity. On here, I'm going to show you what it is based off of rule number one. So I'm, uh, there is no circularity call out on here, but we do have a size dimension down here in the lower left-hand corner of this little drawing example that we use for circularity in our course. Uh, the size or the diameter is 20 millimeters plus or minus 0.5 and this does establish um, a maximum material condition of 20.5 so going back up here to the top it states rule number one which is the envelope principle again some of you may refer to that as taylor's principle especially those of you involved with any kind of fixed ring and gauging so it states rule number one and the local size measurements need to be met for any given diameter to be in specification. This allows for an indirect circularity control based on the limits of size. So again, I know that we have covered all of this before with you, but I want to show you something here. So if we pull this up, this is showing that uh, MMC size, right? That is that envelope. And now it's two dimensional, right? But the actual gauge, the go gauge that we would design for this would be three dimensional. We wouldn't be trying to check it on a two dimensional basis. But this control for circularity is technically two dimensional. Now that size dimension down there, that 20 plus or minus 0.5, um, that does have straightness and cylindricity involved with that too. So when it comes to these form controls that are built in by rule number one, it's whatever is applicable, meaning what does the geometry look like? If it was a flat surface, well, then it would be straightness and flatness. Uh, flatness being the three-dimensional, it would wind up being flatness and indirectly controlling straightness. But for this topic, we're really just looking at the tolerance zone of circularity and want to show you something that uh, I know, me personally, I've taken this for granted. So that 20.5 sitting there, that is our envelope, right? Everybody understands that part of it. No surface element, even a single surface element, can go beyond that boundary of maximum material condition, the envelope. So that's represented by the, the red circle on here. And then now they're showing the 19.5. Well, we all understand and know that that is the least material condition, right? Going back over here to the lower left-hand corner, 20 millimeters plus or minus 0.5. Well, if we subtract 0.5 from that, we get 19.5. The next one up is what we took for granted, or I, me personally. So this green circle that's on the inside here, 
Notice how it's tangent to all of these low points or these valleys on the surface. Now, LMC is still maintained, right? 19.5. But uh, note here that the valley here is coming tangent, and then they're measuring straight across. So that's LMC, but this circle right here that they're showing is not LMC. In our classes, when I'm teaching circularity, I will stop and ask uh, if everybody knows what this green circle's diameter is. Everyone always says 19.5. It's not 19.5. As you can see right here, the circularity tolerance is one millimeter, right? That's rule number one over here. And remember that what they're showing right here, the distance between the two circles, that is the definition of the tolerance zone for circularity. We have two concentric circles, concentric by the English definition. And then that distance right here, it's not diametric, right? It's the distance right here. And when we don't see circularity on the drawing, it's this right here, the total size tolerance. Now, that produces a diameter inside of here that is 18.5, right? 20.5 on maximum material condition out here on the outside diameter. But anywhere around here, it can, this surface can dip all the way down to that one millimeter distance. Well, that is the 18.5 in here. Notice that 19.5 is tangent here to the inner circle, but then going out at tangent to the maximum material condition. Now, what this is showing is that surface um, on any given element it is allowed to move within this tolerance zone. That, and again, that tolerance zone there is not LMC. Um, that's a different one. LMC is the measurement, right? We always talk about when it comes to LMC like this on an external feature, and same rule applies for internal. The, we have a maximum material condition boundary, right? We can set a gauge diameter for that. And in our course, we tell you measure the LMC. And those are our two point measurements that must pass, right? Nothing can be smaller than LMC, which is what they're showing right here. Nothing can be smaller than LMC for this, no two point measurement. And then nothing can be greater than maximum material condition with this external feature, meaning nothing can go beyond the envelope of 20.5. Uh, so keep in mind when you're dealing with circularity, and, and this right here is, is actually a good thing for designers to look at, in that when you put a sloppy tolerance on a diameter like we've intentionally done here, obviously this is all exaggerated for effect, but this does happen from time to time where you recognize that you can handle a lot of size tolerance. Uh, and maybe you're putting a position tolerance on it. Well, remember that whenever we get into adding our geometric tolerances like position, we, if we give a sloppy tolerance to the diameter, Position is not going to come back and help you as far as what the scenario we're looking at right here, this lobing. That is from the form. That's going to be controlled by size. And that might indicate that you need to go back and add circularity as a refinement of rule number one to this to make sure that it can't get as bad as what we're showing here. Because uh, it's, it's one millimeter for some of you. That may be a reasonable uh, tolerance for a lot of others that would be a considered a very sloppy size tolerance on there. But remember that this can happen. This green circle is going to move uh, based off if you were to do a refinement of circularity. It's going to move closer to that maximum material condition size. Uh, and and the, more, the more tight control you need on your form, obviously the tighter the refinement of rule number one is going to be with the use of circularity. One other thing to point out here is this is tangent out here to MMC. If we go directly across, this is tangent to this inner circle, the inner tolerance circle for circularity. Now the two point measurement across here would have to be 19.5, right? Nothing can be above or outside of the MMC. Um, nothing can be uh, below or smaller than the LMC for, in this instance, since it's external. So keep that in mind. Again, we just wanted to make this quick video to show you the actual tolerance zone here and explain what that inner green circle is because it seems like more often than not, 
as everyone goes through circularity, that they, they're not paying attention or understanding what that inner circle is. And we wanted to point that out. If you do not have the wall chart, our free wall chart up here on the top, um, you can subscribe to our email list and get that. So that's www.gdntbasics.com forward slash gdt dash symbols dash chart forward slash. All right. Thank you for watching today. And again, keep in touch and we'll see you next time.